butterflies i am because she star and welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title of this video we are starting a brand new challenge um a couple of weeks ago i got a suggestion from a firefly by the name of candy dreamer and they suggested that i do the immortal sisters challenge now i had heard a little bit about the series um but i hadn't um really seen videos of it or looked into the rules or really just like researched the challenge and so since they suggested that i do that challenge i started looking into it and i became obsessed with i'm gonna say the name wrong um mar marciello or marciella i she's a simmer she's amazing she used to go by starry sim um i'll put the link down below in the, the description box i watched her um, Immortal Sisters Challenge, and I think she has like 18 parts, and I watched like all of them in like two days. Amazing series. I just fell in love with it, and I was like, I have to do this now. So for those of you who do not know about the Immortal Sister Challenge, good, because I'm switching it up a little bit. I will be sticking to the main essence of the challenge, but I have changed the rules and the backstory to my own personal liking and desire so if you want to see all of the rules of this challenge and the rules that i will be keeping um, i'm going to be putting two links down below one link is going to be to mod the sims which has all the official rules for this challenge and then i will be linking you to my tumblr page where we'll have all the rules that I'm changing. So um, the main essence of this challenge is that there are four sisters who represent the elements and um, the elements are water, earth, fire, and air. Now this is uh, our Sim who represents the water and her name is Silver Mist. This is Rosetta and she represents earth. This is Kenna, and she represents fire. And then this is Urena, who represents air. Now, um, for my personal uh, backstory, because we all know I like giving Sims backstories, I'm following storylines and plots and things like that. Uh, these four sisters are the goddesses of Earth. And so from heaven, they are the protectors of earth so they they watch from above and they rule from above and they protect the earth and the creatures of earth um so each sister has their own thing that they do and um as the years have gone by as the thousands and thousands of years have gone by the sisters have become bitter towards the humans of earth because the humans are full of anger and hate and bitterness and they don't love or take care of each other and they're mean and cruel to each other and they're destroying the earth and so the the goddesses have become very angry and very upset with the humans of the earth and so they took on human form themselves and they have come to earth to uh right the wrong that the humans have done to the earth and so they are all about love and protection and um family and protecting the earth and saving the earth and things like that so the sisters have come down to earth to try to put the earth back in order but while they're living here on earth they've realized that they're starting to age and so they love the earth but they love their beauty and their vanity more so their whole um thing right now is that they're trying to do is they realize that they can't leave the well-being of the earth in the human's hands so they want to create offspring or demigods to um protect the earth and so each sister is going to ha be having children um as their predecessors and their mini gods to take care of different aspects of the earth so urina is going to have children who will take care of the air elements on the earth and then the same with Kenna, she'll have fire children who will do her, their duties to um, keep the harmony of the earth. And then the same with Rosetta and Silver Mist. Um, so here are the sisters. They hope to one day go back into the heavens and leave the earth to the care of their children um, and go back and be their, the goddesses in heaven. Um, but who knows if that might actually happen one day 
or not. So real quick, that was a really long backstory. You can read my full story on my Tumblr page. The link will be down below. And we'll I'll talk more about that uh, backstory as the challenge progresses. If you've never um, played a challenge with me before, then you wouldn't know that on introduction videos, all I do on introduction videos is I say the rules of the challenge, I talk about The Sims, and I give an overview of the lots we will be playing in. Um, there will be actual no actual gameplay in this part. It's just the backstory of the, of the Sims, the rules, and the lots. Um, so as you can tell right now, we're going over um, The Sims' different outfits. That was Yurina and Ke Kenna, and now we're on Rosetta. Um, so here we are on the different outfits. And then let's go to Silver Mist. Silver Mist is going to be the main sim that we will be playing with because she is the caretaker of the household and the children. And that is not the hair I put you in. I had originally had her in this hair. Oh, uh, these sims are remodeled or taken from Deligracy. Um, I love Deliveracy. I think she's an amazing simmer. She does such beautiful sims. And um, she had created these element sisters. I had taken these sims from the gallery and then I just morphed them into what I thought I wanted for these sims. That's the hair that Deliveracy had originally had for the sim. And I thought it was really cool and really awesome. And I liked it at first, but then as I started, um really messing with the sims and creating their backstories and their character, I realized that that hair just wasn't going to match with everything I was going with. For the challenge, uh, the water sim is supposed to have two life, can, you can choose either between two different aspirations. I chose the master chef and she got the bonus trait of essence of flavor. Um, you have to have family oriented, perfectionist and neat. Uh, let's go ahead and put her back into her first outfit. Um, and this is the Earth Sim. And um, she's supposed to be the Earth conscious, like the eco friendly and body conscious, um, athletic conscious. There we go. Um, sim. So I have multiple outfits for her for her um, exercise outfits because she will be exercising a lot. Um, she could have two different aspirations, but I chose the freelance botanist who comes with the special bonus trait of collector. She has to have the low sea outdoors, active and self-assured traits. This is Kenna, who is the um, fire sim, and she has to have actually I think she was you could pick between two different aspirations or was this the only one you could have i don't remember on her uh but she is serial romantic bonus trait of collector it's interesting that doesn't seem like it would match um outgoing hates the hates children and romantic and then our last sim which is yorina and i'm gonna talk about yorina here for a little bit because because i love her she's amazing i think she might be my favorite next to silver mist um yorina is the air sim and to me i um, made Yurina about the sky. So she's all about um, the sun and the moon and the sky in general. Like that's in my mindset, that's what she, her domain is. Her domain is the sky. And so for some reason to me, uh, because she's always near the sun, to me that would be that would make her um kind of washed out because she's always near the sun and so she has very pale hair and pale skin and she she wears a lot of nude colors however she always has one piece of clothing that pops out so there's the clouds again to go with uh the sky and then she has ear earrings of feathers to go with the sky of birds and so all of her outfits are very um muted and very um colorful at the same time so <laughs> there's luna from sailor moon um so yeah she's a very muted pale skin or sim but she also is very colorful and i'm spending way too much time 
on this part. Um, she has to have, she could choose between two different aspirations and I chose best-selling author and you get the bonus, bonus trait amuser. Um, she also has to be a genius, a bookworm, and a loner. Yorina is, is the sim who's responsible for knowledge and the arts. So she needs to teach the children um, logic and help them with the homework and then also teach them the arts of music and painting. Uh, the fire sim, I have changed her purpose in the challenge because normally she's she's the only one that's supposed to be having children she, and um so she's supposed to be going out finding men and having babies but since i didn't think that was fair um to the other sisters i changed her role so she is now um supposed to be the one who goes and gets friends and brings them home to get eaten by the cow the cow plant so that they can live forever and be forever young and she's supposed to also bring in income so she is one of the sims that has to bring in the money all right so we are now on our home lot isn't it beautiful i love this home lot it's absolutely amazing i downloaded the houses from the gallery um by i think it's looney 14 um i'll have the name down below so you can download this lot if you'd like now if you download um the original lot from the gallery it's not going to look anything like this um i actually changed this lot a lot um so if you're wanting this lot um i haven't fully decided yet if i'm going to upload this lot to the gallery only because i don't know if that would be right for me to do because i'm not the original owner or creator of the lot um, so I think I might though and just give credit to the original creator of this lot because it's so pretty and I know a lot of you guys are going to want to play along with me. So um, I might actually end up uploading this to the gallery. So um, if I do end up doing that, I'll let you guys know down below in the description box. Actually, you know what? I will. I will be uploading this to the gallery. So if you want to download this from the gallery um, off of my account, this actual lot, you can do so. My username is capital T E L L A capital T A R. It's Stella star without the S's Telatar. Um, so let's go ahead and focus on this lot. Really pretty, really pretty for <laughs> what? let's focus on this lot for a second because it's really pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay. So each sister is supposed to have their own little, um, living area and each sister is supposed to have their own specific things to them so you could either have like one big giant house and have them all have their separate rooms or you could build them separate houses like i did or i know well um a lot of people they build like um like an apartment kind of looking type thing and whatnot and have different rooms um but i just thought it'd be fun to have each sister have their own little house and have the kids kind of like jump between houses and whatnot so let's go ahead and focus on the lot so this is the fire sims house she's her house is right up front because i just assumed like a lot of people are going to become seeing her a lot of men are going to become seeing her and a lot of people um are going to be her friends get eaten by the cow plants so <laughs> i thought her house should be up front and center so if, as we go into her house let's go ahead and put the walls down um one of the requirements for the fire sim is she has to have a bar so here's the bar um, I did a lot of changes to this house. Now, the reason why I downloaded this particular lot from the gallery was because I loved the houses and the way that they had the houses made and formatted and designed. And I just loved the, the look and the aesthetics of the houses. So I changed the lot and the houses by how they were placed because they were not placed like this originally. The firehouse was here. The water house was here and then I think the earth was here and then the air was there and they were all connected by uh, patios. And so I took away the patios and I separated the houses to how I wanted them to look. And then I put a lots of different greenery um, in front of the houses and things like that. I also changed a lot of the decor colors to fit my personality. Um, but a lot of the decorations are the same. Um, like this bar was 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 there the sitting area was there um 
upstairs, the bedroom, um, the little hallway walking area with some pictures, the bathroom, the bedroom, and then the hidden office over here. Um, and then there's, she has her own little patio area over here. Now, if we go down and out through the back, the, the fire sister can either go to what I'm going to be calling the main house. I'm going to be calling this the main house. So if you ever hear me say, oh, go into the main house. This is the main house. This is the water Sims home, her house. Um, so she could either go that way or she can go this way to the earth sims house and then the air sims house um so let's go ahead and focus on the earth sim now there's two different entryways you can either go this way or the main entrance which is this way which opens up into the staircase and like i said earlier the earth sim is supposed to be teaching um the children good healthy habits and so she has the gym a body down here um her little bedroom and then a lots and lots of places to garden um, because she's supposed to be getting us uh, cow plants as well so that they can drink the milk and stay beautiful and young forever. So there's that part. And then let's go ahead and go over to the earth. No, the air sim. Sorry, guys. It's going to take me a while to get used to like the names of everything. So I did change this house a, a, quite a bit, actually, um, than it was originally was. Um was it I think I made the house bigger I think this way I think I pulled it out one block this way which gave me more room um because I I wanted this to be a little bit bigger room so I could put the desk so the children can do their homework um and then I also there was kind of a foyer with it all blocked in right here and so I tore down the walls here and then um I had moved the stairs over um, so I moved the stairs and when I moved the stairs, I pulled the walls in closer. And so I made this room bigger. And so I made the inside of this house humongously bigger because it was really kind of cramped. Um, so I made this a little uh, steady area where the kids can come and they can get books to read to do, help them do their homework. They can use the computer if they have to sit on the desks and do their homework. And then they came over here and they can do some painting and they can learn the piano. And all of these pictures were here from the original lot download. Um, so I just thought it was really cute and really adorable and fun. Um, I added in the logic table down here and another art easel back here. So then you go upstairs and here is her personal bedroom. I noticed for some reason, I don't know why I did this, but I used a lot of neutral colors. I don't know why I just did. <laughs> so um, all of this is pretty much the same. I just added the instruments and I think I changed the bed, but everything else is the same. I just changed the color of a lot of things. I recolored a lot of things, but pretty much everything is the same um, than the re-original download. And so here is her bathroom. And now let's go ahead and head on over to the main house. Uh, now the main house has a couple different entryways. Here's the back entryway where you can grill and have a little... Uh, picnic area. There's a porch, which I added this porch in. Um, and there's like a little table back here where they can eat. And so here's one entryway here and they can go that way, which goes right into the living quarters. Or you can go this way, which goes right into the kitchen. And then there's a little jungle gym for the kids to play. Now, <laughs> look at this house. Oh my God. I love it so much. Now the original download actually had this, um, cut like in two separate rooms so it started here and it went like that and so this table was over always originally there it was just had it was it was marked off with arches and so i didn't like that i don't like i like big open spaces i don't like walls and half walls and things like that i just like open open living areas so i took that down and i put the table there um i think that was always there i added the rug i don't remember um, but here we are. <laughs> here it is. I just want to show you guys really fast and then we'll take a closer look. I put these up there. There was a lot of paintings up there by the children, which I thought was really cute. But um, I just thought that would fit better aesthetically. And so then I put that of uh, the, the spoon and the fork 
and then the menu so everyone can know what they're having from Din Din. Um, so here, let's go ahead and get a close-up look of the kitchen here. Um, so I put in these cabinets here because I feel like they're a big family and they're going to be having a lot of like people and kids. And so they need a lot of places to store like food and cereal and pasta. And then they're going to need a lot of dishes. And so there's some cabinets there with dishes and let's go this way. Oh, I'm not, we're not going to be able to see one sec. Uh, but there, oh, there we go. There's more cabinets there. And then I put a dishwasher there and a coffee maker out of the way. Um, and then I, there was an island that originally came like this with the house. So they always had this island. It was just connected over there with the cabinets. Um, so I just pulled it out on its own. And then here's two refrigerators. Because if you watch me play the 100 Baby Challenge, I have two refrigerators. And it's just so much easier. Um, here's some counters and a microwave and more cabinets, dishes. Uh, there's another dishwasher and the stove. And yeah, I just love this kitchen. I think it's absolutely amazing. I love it. So if we go this way, this is the living area. Um, so here's a couple of couches and a fireplace that I added in. It wasn't there. Um, and there's a TV and they have huge ceilings. I love this house because of the huge ceilings. Um, I also love that you can look outside. I just, ah, uh, I love this house. This is definitely my favorite house out of all of them. Um, here's just a wall of pictures. And we go this way. And I kind of was thinking this would be like the mud room kind of area. And there's going to be like tons of kids all the time here. So I thought they would like have tons of shoes everywhere. And they can grab their coats as they're going out. Um, and so yeah, this is just like the foyer. There's the, ca the chandelier. Oh my goodness, and here we go, you guys. I don't know if it's gonna load. I don't know if it's gonna load. No, it's not gonna load. Dang, but we did it. There we go. No. Um. So you go up the stairs. So you go up the stairs, and there's a little landing with some couches where I guess Silver Mist can talk to the children, and they can get get to know each other. And then there's hallways everywhere. But first, we're going to go into Silver Mist's um, room, which here's her bed. She has dressers and then bassinet for babies uh, when the babies start coming because she's supposed to take care of all of the children. Why can't I go up? There we go. <laughs> there's her bathroom. So let's go ahead and go back to the hallway. So you go down the hallway, and the first bedroom we reach right next to Silver Mist's room there is the teenage boy room it's just mirrors and uh, two beds and these decals i've become obsessed with i love these decals they're amazing um if we go back this way the first room over here is the teen girls room and so they have just two single beds um a couple of paintings and a dresser and some hangers um we're gonna go this way la 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 and then here's some laundry and then if you go this way, it's the bathroom. Now, I know I always complain that it's so weird that people put in arches into the bathroom. Because, like, who's going to, like, go to the potty without, like, a door or curtain or something? But the thing is, aesthetically, it just looked better. So I did end up putting in these um, archways. And it just, it looks better. So even though it's a little gross, it looks good. Um, here... <laughs> is um the sink area let's go this way um and then this is the little girl's room so there is a a little castle play area and then some beds and then here is the little boy area um this i love this dragon plushie it's amazing and more of the decals i became obsessed with these decals oh my goodness I love these decals. And so, yeah, there's the, the, the main house. I think that's it. There's really nothing else for us to say about this. Here's overview of it. Um, I love it. This is originally how the house was. I did not change the rooms as in the format of them. However, there was a wall, heel, wall here. <laughs> with a door and then a wall here with the door and then a wall here with the door. So I didn't like how it was like the hallways were closed off. So I just opened up the hallways um, and I changed the stalls and I, of course I changed the color of everything. Oh, I did 
change the stairs because this was at an angle at one point it was like angled and so i just made it into a square and then i made it two stairs instead of one stair um but that was all that and i think we're done Whew. i don't know how long this video is um but there is the overview of our homestead we will be living on for the next couple of i would say couple of episodes but no we're gonna be living on this lot for a while i just love it it's amazing you guys like i said i will be putting it on the gallery i'm really excited i really love this lot like i said it will be up on the gallery so you can look for it by my name and hopefully you will find it or you can also use the hashtag hashtag because she start because i've been using that for uploading my stuff so if you use that hashtag, you can find it as well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of learning the Sims and the personalities and who they are and looking at the lot. I'm so excited, you guys. I cannot wait to start this challenge with you all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I, I hope you guys are looking forward to episode one. I hope you guys are having a grand, glorious day. Bye.